Hi there, thanks for tuning in. I want to talk with you a little bit about stress eating. That is about the worst you can do when you want to shed pounds, when you want to lose weight, when you want to drop some dress sizes or pants sizes. Stress eating is about the worst you can do and you can totally prevent it. See, here's the thing, what happens when you are stress eating, when you are under stress, your body produces cortisol and cortisol packs on the pounds because cortisol gives you food cravings. And this date back also many, many centuries ago when we literally didn't have enough food. I mean, in the old days, some 300, maybe 400 years ago, maybe even less, maybe 200 years. I didn't stat check the stats, but people literally died from hunger. And that caused a lot of stress. If you don't have food and you don't know where your next meal is coming from, that causes an immense amount of stress. So then when you see food, any kind of food nowadays, you know, when you go somewhere, the food that they offer is, is pastas and cakes and donuts and muffins and everything sugary, everything wheat. And that's a killer. That's an absolute killer. You want, you don't want to do that. So there's a couple of suggestions that I would like to give you. First of all, when you feel stressed, release the stress, do breathing exercises. And it's called the square breathing. That means you breathe in on the count of four. You just find yourself a little bit of a comfort place, even in your car, it doesn't matter. Close your eyes and breathe in on the count of four, like one, two, three, four, and then hold one, two, three, four, and then blow out one, two, three, four, and hold again one, two, three, four. When you come, when you become a little bit more uh, familiar with that, you can do the, the four, six, and eight. You just you know, you can change that, but that you focus on your breathing and it's, it, it reduces the stress. It helps you get over the stress. Also, when you are doing it, put both hands on your tummy, one above and one below the navel and just feel how you're breathing. You're going to be surprised because most people actually only breathe very shallow up to here, there, and you should be breathing all the way down. You should be pushing your tummy out. Now, we women, we like to hold in our tummy, so we think that's not a good idea. But actually, when you're breathing and when you want to reduce your stress, just breathe it in as deep as you can, push out your tummy because it's your lungs that are filling up and, you, and they push out your tummy. So... Who's going to see you? You know, who cares? So ch check that also. Then whatever the event is that, that it, that's giving you the stress, learn to look at it differently. See the event differently. Just do your very best. What's going on here? Why is this happening? Who is involved? What am I thinking about this? What am I feeling about this? How can I change this for myself so that I do not go into a raging stress fit? Because it's not serving me. Prepare yourself not to go into stress eating. When you go somewhere and you don't know how long it's going to take, prepare yourself. Always have a protein shake with you, powder. You can get water most everywhere. Everybody has either a glass of water or a bottle of water. Put the protein powder in there, shake it, drink it up. Take some more. If you know you're going somewhere and you have no idea what they're going to serve for lunch or for dinner, I can tell you most of the time it's going to be, excuse my French, crap food because it's ch it's cheap and it's easy. Macaroni, pastas, pizzas, all the stuff you don't want to eat. So 
make an emergency bag for yourself. Always have like a can of tuna in there. Nuts, nuts satiate you. They have a lot of protein in, in them and they're just good. Chew them, chew them, chew them. Or, you know, sometimes you have those, I've seen them, these little cans or little whatever canisters with either almond butter or peanut butter. If you know that you're going to be home again at the end of the day, take one or two of those. Take some small carrots or some small cucumbers or slice up an apple and then you can dip it out of the peanut butter. If you like, take a jar of peanut butter or almond butter or mixed nut butter. Help yourself, you know. That's the most important thing. Take your own food. Prepare yourself. If you're going out somewhere and you know there's going to be some all sorts of munchies and you, again, you don't know how, it's, how long it's going to take, eat something solid at home. Fill yourself up with some protein because that really, that kills your hunger because you don't want to go in this stress eating. It's... It, it's so stressful and it's pumping the cortisol in your body. And you know what? You're going to be so hungry and you're just going to be grabbing everything, anything that comes under your nose. Um, you just attack the vending machines. You Because you are just too far away from home, you might go to McDonald's or, or whatever. Or you go into the supermarket and all you have, you cannot buy a steak or you cannot, you know, whatever. But prepare yourself, prepare yourself. I've had times for a long time, I always had an esky, you know, a cool chest, a small cool chest with me with some essentials in it. Some some cheese, some perhaps some some chicken breast, you know, like like cooked chicken breast, some nuts. Um, some sliced zucchinis and some sliced cucumber, an apple is sliced, you know, prepare yourself. It's so simple. And besides that, it saves you a hell of a lot of money because everything that somebody else has prepared for you, vending machine or anywhere, is costing a lot of money because you pay for the labor. You want to do that? No. Um, if you're only going to be away from a short while, and you don't know what it's going to be and what the temperature is going to be, just take a very good protein bar. Sess it out. Next time you go shopping, sess it out. What is the best protein bar for me that also tastes good? There are some that are absolutely delicious. Just watch the sugar content. Absolutely great. There is now even a company where you can make your own protein bowls or bars from a mix really really good there's no sugar added on to it and no stevia either i think you can add that yourself um i tried to order it because it was in shark tank and they were totally 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 sold out but they will come back so you know be careful what you're doing prepare yourself if you want to drop the pounds love your body love your body love your body and take good care of it so that's it for right now Thank you for watching. You know the disclaimer. This is everything that I was taught by my loving mentors. If you like what I'm telling you, press the subscribe button. If you have not already done that, press the like button. Share it with whoever you think may benefit from this. And if you don't like it, that's okay as well. I just appreciate you very much for tuning in. Thank you so much. Prepare yourself.